Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here, back at you with another video, and today we've got a very, very exciting uh, topic. We're going to be discussing, uh, getting a bit of insights into how uh, cannabis testing works. So there's a lab um, in Montague, South Africa. It's um, it's called Cure, and they do cannabis testing. So they do cannabinoid profiles, various other testing, CBD, CB, uh, CBG, I think. THC, THCV, all everything, um, they'll test it. We're going to go into more details. I'm still learning. And yeah, we're going to be uh, joined uh, by Brenda. She's the uh, director at the lab. And yeah, she's going to give us some info. So hope you guys enjoy the show. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace and love. Uh, welcome, Brenda, from uh, Cure Labs. Uh, she's uh, kind enough to have joined us today. And she's going to be giving us a little bit of information on how to test cannabis, what it involves, the different tests. And we're actually going to pull up a, a result, a testing, um, a lab result that we did uh, mid to late last year. And we're just going to go over some of the details that are on there. Uh, welcome, uh, Brenda, if you want to just let us know whereabouts in the world you're located and how you're doing. <laughs> Hi, Andrew, yeah, thanks for the introduction. Uh, Cure Laboratory is situated in the little Karoo town of Montague. Um, we, at the moment, are still very, very small, but we're hoping to grow with this industry and um, take it to new heights, literally. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, with, with cannabis testing um, and regulations in South Africa, I know they've got regulations uh, such as THC percentages, uh, CBD percentages and actually worldwide um, around the world a lot of countries restrict their cannabis based on THC levels and I mean it's not only the re it's not the only reason why people test uh, so it's, there's that generally people think they just test for high potency you know they want to get the potency but a lot of the times it's actually a um, a legal requirement to get it tested and make sure it sort of fits within those parameters. And I think that's where the South African market's going to be moving towards. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to just give us a little bit of, um, if you can maybe give us an insight into how, how, how cannabis testing works. Um, I, I suspect it's, it's, if you can explain it to us in, in the simple enough uh, form, I think that'd be really awesome to hear. Yeah, so um, we use a technique called gas chromatography. And um, what that does, it um, you, you take a sample, it gets dissolved in a solvent, you inject the solvent onto the machine, and the machine evaporates everything. So based on the boiling points and some other chemical properties, which I'm not going to go into too much detail mm -hmm. in now, um, the, the individual compounds get separated through a column. And then it reaches a detector and the detector responds um, according to the amount of each compound that's in there. So the more of the compound you get, the higher it spikes. So then you yeah. get a peak. And that peak is uh, directly related. The size of the peak is directly related to the amount of each compound um, in your mixture. Oh, so because we weigh the sample, we know exactly how much of your sample we put in there. Um, and we uh, quantify um, using certified reference materials. So we can tell you exactly how much of the THC and the CBD and all the other cannabinoids are in there. The machine is calibrated on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, you can really trust the results that are in there. Yeah, I was going to say that the um, the reference material is a, that's a calibrate, that's, that's a, you calibrate it with a, a reference material. Um, how is, yeah, so is that you'll... something you, you get from, there's like a centralized repository of, of like a global standard, I, I would suspect of. Yes. So, so we, we, um, get our certified reference materials imported from the U S um, there, they have, um, uh, laboratories that make them and they certify them back to the original 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 material so you can trace mm -hmm. it back to the base manufacturing of it um, so you get uh, THC for example of a known potency and that you put onto your machine and you tell your machine this is how much THC I just put in mm -hmm. and it uses that to quantify the unknown sample 
relative to that THC that you calibrated it with. And yeah. the same you do with all the other cannabinoids or other um, compounds you're looking at. It's quite an important thing to notice. I mean, these, yeah, the, those are part of the things, you know, when you're getting tests done, uh, I suppose you've got to make sure it's at a facility that's using a calibrated machine. But I guess if it's, uh, I mean, the lab should be doing this. I, I suppose I, I, I like to think they all are calibrating regularly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a process to get the samples. I mean, obviously you have to import the samples and use the caliber, you know, and calibrate it off that. But yeah, I guess that's just part of the maintenance. And then I'm going to pull up a, uh, an actual result sheet, um, that we can have a look at. It should be coming through here and yeah, cause you mentioned some of the different things that the machine's picking up. And we have a bud sample that we sent in last year just to get tested for, you know, see what the testing process was like. And then also, you know, for interest sake, um, it's, it's quite a cool process. Um, I, I, if you can see on your side, um, maybe if you can just give us a little overview of, of sort of what the, the main points are to, to be looking at on, on a results sheet. So Andrew, what you um, did here was a general cannabinoid profile um, and the results are reported in both milligram per gram and percentage. So some people, they want to look at their bud and say this is 10% THC. So um, that is one way of, of looking at it. And the other way is the milligram per gram where you actually know if I'm holding one milligram of bud, uh, sorry, one gram of bud in my hand, that bud, that bit of bud contains exactly, in your case, 82.2 milligrams of THC. That is very important for the people who specifically use um, things like oils and extracts for medicinal um, reasons, because they, they want to keep their dosage consistent. Yeah. And um, they want to know exactly how much they are taking in. When you're smoking, it's not that easy because you don't know how much you're actually inhaling and exhaling. But, but yeah. if you use physical amounts, like an oil, for example, that you put in your mouth, into your body, then the milligrams per gram is, is very important. Yeah. Um, whereas the, the percentage result will give you more an indication of how strong it is. Yeah, that's actually really, really interesting. Um, I suspect you could get uh, a usage case of CBD producers that would take their bud and they would get a count of the CBDs in milligrams per gram, and they would use that to estimate how much they're going to be able to extract um, yes. off that, off that, but obviously within, you know, there's going to be some loss in that um, process. But yeah, I think that's, that's actually really, really cool. And then uh, some of these things, uh, for instance, uh, LOQ, um, what would that uh... okay. the the LOQ stands for limit of quantitation or quantification both terms are accepted um, that just that just tells you um, what how, how small can the sample be or the, that amount of compound in the sample be before the um, gas chromatograph can accurately quantify what's mm. in there you also get something uh, called the LOD which is the limit of detection so any little peak that shows up on the chromatogram below the limit of detection is just discarded because it can be noise. Yeah, it can yeah. be other contaminants in the sample. Or something. So we don't look at anything that's below the limit of detection. And that level is determined by doing certain validation tests with when, when you're developing your method and you test the method and how well it works. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, if you, you don't want to, um, it could easily, it, you need sort of enough of Sorry, a- Andrew, this was somewhat <laughs> at the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, oh, good. No worries, he went, he's, he's left. Okay. Um, no, problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting how it's, um, that it's, you know, you need enough of a substance in there um, to be able to detect it properly, you know, it needs yes, to be- And, able to and also, if you want to look at, if you want to look at lower levels, it is possible to change the sample preparation method 
to put more sample in there so that it is in a higher oh, concentration I see, I see. in the sample that you actually read. So you're not limited by those values, but in this sample, because we, we get blind samples, we don't know what we're going to get. Mm. Um, so, so we have a standard method, but if you, if you are interested in looking at the, the lower levels, then we adjust it to, to um, be able to assay those low, low, low quantities, especially if you're looking at hemp and you want to determine mm. the THC levels and there's an <laughs> upper level. So, so that your, for, for hemp samples, we specifically have separate um, preparation methods. Yeah, that actually sort of brings us uh, to, our, to, the, to my next question that I was uh, thinking about is, is how does it come to um, arranging a test? Because there's obviously a process of sending bud in the post um, to, your, to the lab. There's, uh, you know, um, packaging um, sort of requirements. You know, it, it just seems a bit, you know, it, like, it, are we okay to send uh, samples? Um, and generally how much how much sample would, would you need for sort of the, the various tests that are on offer? So the, the full spectrum. Um, <laughs> yeah, how would we arrange a test and uh, samples and the types of tests that we can do at Cure? So um, the best way to go about is to go onto our website, www.cure.co.za forward slash tests. So there, everything will just pop up with all the tests that are available and you select which test and you put in your sample information, you put in your personal information. Um, and then uh, the system will automatically create an invoice for you. And we now also recently have a, a setup where we can do, where we can accept online payments, nice. um, which really makes it easier. The other yeah. option is to do an EFT from your own um, computer or phone app or mm. whatever. Um, so that is how the payment works. And then packaging, um, we don't have specific requirements with regards to packaging, but just make sure you package it so that it doesn't get contaminated or adulterated. Yeah. Um, also, I mean, we're working with a sensitive substance. You don't necessarily want everyone to know what's in the package, not only because of legal issues, they aren't really legal issues, but mm. people may just steal it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you, <laughs> you, you, you don't want your precious butt um, to, to get stolen for nothing. So, yeah. so just, just package it well, seal it, um, and send it to us via courier. And yeah, then when we get it, we'll test it for you and send you results by email. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and then the, the heartbreaking news is that it's uh, unfortunately, it's a one way trip for the, the sample. Am I correct? <laughs> yes, it is, unfortunately, because the sample does get destroyed by the sample prepara preparation. It also helps on our side, because otherwise we would sit with kilograms of <laughs> cannabis material in the laboratory, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which does become a legal issue. Yeah. Um, no, so, so don't worry, we're not selling off your weed. It is mm. really destroyed by the sample prep. If there's anything left over, um, we do keep it for up to a month just in case there are any queries and we need to do retests on that. And um, then we will destroy it responsibly. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, and also you asked about, <laughs> you, you asked about um, sample amounts. Mm. It depends on, on the number of tests you require. So yeah. if, if you would like, for example, just a potency or just a cannabinoid profile, uh, generally half a gram of bud is enough. You can also uh, look on our website. We do have um, indications of how much you need to send. Uh, things like edibles and beverages, we need more because the concentrations are obviously lower. Mm. Um, but generally, if, we, if we're just looking at flour, a half a gram per the type of test you want done is enough, except for micro testing, uh, they will need one gram per sample per test. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, no, I think it's it's a really cool um, step forward. It's nice to see that there's you know these facilities are actually available in in South Africa. Um, you know, it's it's quite a sort of advanced tech that's 
getting used to test the buds and you know test the cannabis that we're producing not only just for recreational usage for people who want to know their potencies but also it's going to be a big thing as the medical space opens up and it's just going to get more and more and more popular for people to be testing i know in the the states and uh here in uh, uk there's uh, a lot of people um will do sort of their own tests on small batches it's it's worth it for them to know what's in their buds and you know what percentages they're dealing with because people are looking for different things in different um forms that you know however they want to take it and they sort of need to know what they what they're getting into but yeah um thank you so much brenda for for joining us for the for the show and yeah it was really a pleasure and guys all the details to be able to find uh cure's website and the links to all the tests they do are going to be below the video in the description and you can check them out there and drop them an email if you want any testing done cool thanks brenda <laughs> fantastic thank you andrew nice to see you, you too. <laughs>